Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toaster Biz, and you know we love looking at the best and the worst. Well, in this case, we got the best-selling laptop on Amazon. This right here is the Acer Nitro featuring an i5-10300H, an RTX 3050, a spec configuration we're pretty familiar with in the budget gaming laptop territory. But is this thing worth the praise of being the best-selling laptop on Amazon? Well, we're about to find out, but first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, the online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome some discounted game keys, and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. With Windows 10, it is so easy just to go onto the website using the link in the description down below, and then go to the Windows 10, click buy it now, add code TB20, then go to the checkout, put in your payment info, and then boom, you will get within a few seconds or a few minutes an activation code that you will go into Windows 10, put in the activation code, and it is fully legit, it will work out of the box, and you will have a fully activated Windows 10 license. We use GVG Mall for all the PCs we built here at the Toasty Bros and so should you. So definitely check the link in the description down below and use code TB20 to save money on checkouts. So for this laptop, we paid $760 and we also did buy a RAM upgrade. We will have links in the description down below that will be affiliate links for both the laptop and the RAM upgrade. We'll show you guys how to do the RAM upgrade and we'll also show you guys what the general performance is after we do the RAM upgrade because we've done this configuration quite a few times. We know it's gonna be really good, but just how good is it? So what we're gonna go ahead and do is open this thing up and look at the legendary Acer Nitro that we have reviewed many times here on the channel and go over the main configuration options and then dive into some gaming with its current configuration and then probably show you what what it can do after the RAM upgrade. So let's do it. But yeah guys, so Acer Nitro 5, have we actually reviewed this specific one? This spec one, we actually haven't. I looked it up. The That's last surprising. one we did had a 3050 Ti and then another one did had a 3060, so. So we've kind of been like all over the place with it, but yeah, and, and in theory, a lot of people don't know this. So RTX 3050 desktop is better than the RTX 3050 Ti laptop, but the RTX 3050 laptop is worse than all. It's kind of goofy how they did that. Doesn't really make a ton of sense, but that's just how it is. You know, talk to NVIDIA about that. Talk to these laptop manufacturers, but it does come in a nice mesh cover, which I like to see a lot of times you don't really see that on, um, I'm gonna call them like mid-range laptops like this, but super sleek design. I know Matt kind of got this back here. That looks really cool. Like big ventilation. I love this charging port, kind of ambidextrous right in the back middle. On the right-hand side of the laptop, we have one USB we have a USB 3, we have an HDMI, and then going over to the other side, we have a combo headphone jack, we have two more USB 3s, and then a full-size Ethernet, which we love to see because we gotta download a lot of stuff here. And a lot of you at home might be using this as like a docking station. You might actually plug it in, so you don't wanna have just Wi-Fi. But the laptop itself looks pretty sleek. Now, do we actually get a higher refresh rate screen yes, on this Yes, we one? do. 1080p, 144 oh. hertz. Yeah, so they didn't even cheap out. A lot of times they go 120 hertz. I don't know why they do that. They kind of meet in the middle. But yeah, I mean, good laptop on paper. We do have the nice i5, which should be a four core eight thread, I yes. believe. Um, once again, tr typical laptop trickery, you know? And then the RTX 3050 with four gigs of VRAM. This is for a two and a half inch SSD with the ribbon cable connector. So that's cool to know we can do that. I like that. Nice, nice little like... Uh, carabiner strap put on your i guess keys yeah we actually had a had a dumb moment when these laptops first came out we didn't really like it just sounds dumb like you have to really so once you i just felt it too once you push it in it feels like it's in but you have to push really hard and then it goes in further mm -hmm. once it goes in further you know you're there but if you don't do that it won't work and we actually ended up sending back a brand new laptop thinking it was doa just to find out that it was fine so. I feel like someone listened to that without any picture, just audio, just talking about how you have to push it in further. You yeah, feel you just like, gotta like, keep going in and then, and then you're there. And, and then you're, you're, there. you're there. You're there, you're right where you need to be. But it looks like it's turning on. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's gonna turn on, but it does have all the amenities of a laptop. I mean, you got your full backlit keyboard. It's kind of like a, a red backlighting, it reminds me of HP. Um, you do have a webcam. You do also have speakers, you have microphone, screen, and then touchpad. So it's definitely an all-in-one. You have everything you could possibly need. So. Whether you're gaming or doing office work, you know, this will definitely do all of it. But obviously here at the Toaster Rose, we're just gonna game. So yeah, what we're gonna do is install some games and play it in its current configuration. I believe it is single channel 8 gigs. We'll verify that once we get through into Windows. We are rocking Windows 10 here because normally these 10 Gen i5 systems are still rocking Windows 10 because they're a bit older. But, oh, here comes Cortana. Uh-oh, Cortana, stop. Cortana's stop. getting in the way. She's being so loud. Cortana. I'm having to do this backwards. But then we're gonna be taking this little crucial stick, uh, 8 gigs, which should be a good match for this laptop and just sit it right there and boom, we're upgrading. Yeah, it's it's already, it already has dual channel. Now. So already good to go. But yeah, we'll get dual channel, then play some games on it. 
All right, guys, we're playing some Apex Legends and we're on a medium, mostly medium preset, 1080p, and we're looking pretty good so far. And right now we're using a single eight gig stick of RAM. We did confirm it was one, right? Yeah, it is okay. one. <laughs> and one thing to mention too, is we had a hassle getting this to work properly. There's a lot of bloatware on this device. And also it's running a very old Windows install. So we were unable to launch the game until we did, well, a bunch of updates and everything. So keep that in mind when you buy a laptop like this, uh, there's a chance it could be pretty outdated and you would need to do the updates or you just might need to go straight to a new Windows install because it just has a bunch of random bloatware on it. That's why you can have secondary monitors if you really want to. The screen seems pretty dim. I wonder if that's max brightness. Mm. It's probably my least favorite weapon in the game. Can't cause a rampage? No. Okay. Oh, oh did you get the kill? It. Yeah, I got it. Oh, oh. God. Ooh, hey! Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, no, not the wing, man. Where, oh, is this a, oh, that was, I thought it was my teammate. Their name was like blocking. Okay, well, my teammates were like absolutely cracked. Hey, look wow, at this. that's a lot 20, of damage. 30, 25. Oh, I didn't do as bad as I thought I did. But look at the other people. Like these poor guys didn't even have a chance, but I mean, it makes me good at Apex. Let's next go game. Next one. All right, gamers, next up is uh, Fortnite. And as you can see right now, we're on performance settings, epic view distance, everything else off or on low. And um, we're getting ready to, again, every time I do this, it says, oh, do you want to save your changes? I did not make a change Fortnite. I did no such thing. Um, we're getting 60 plus FPS. Um, Fortnite does benefit from dual channel for sure. So getting that extra stick will help. But for just comparison purposes, after we finish Fortnite, we're gonna run the built-in benchmark for Forza Horizon 5 with the eight gigs of RAM, and then we'll do the upgrade. And so you guys can get an apples to apple comparison of the uh, single eight gigs versus dual 16, which we've done numerous times on this channel, but it's always cool to see exactly how much performance you can get with this specific spec of a laptop. I was thinking about the Victus that I just played a video of. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Oh, oh, Alan, you're done, bro. You put up a good fight, though. Most people don't shoot back. <laughs> wow. That was, that was great. That was a great distance shot on a bot. Oh! <laughs> They, see, top 13, they started to get kind of crazy. They get kind of crazy with it. But yeah, Fortnite runs great. I mean, 100 plus FPS. I think another eight gig stick of memory would help out in terms of getting those FPS high, like averages to stay higher overall. But what we're gonna do is run Forza Horizon 5, the built-in benchmark with eight gigs, and then upgrade it with the other eight gig stick. And then, yeah, wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, upgrading this laptop with an extra stick of memory is super simple. Flip over your laptop, unscrew all the screws you see on screen here, and then just pry open the laptop from the back. It's super simple. It's much easier than other gaming laptops where you have to get like a little pry tool. It just snaps right off. And as you can see right here, there's a lot of upgrade options. We could expand on the SSD if we wanted to and swap out that M.2 drive for a bigger drive. Um, we can also add an extra storage drive if we wanted to, but we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install the RAM. There's the open slot right there. You take your little crucial stick, the one that we're using right now is just the crucial 8 gig stick which does match the speed um, and you can just slot it right in here push down to here a click and boom you're good to go now if you want to test to make sure this thing works before you screw all the screws back in you can by just turning it on and going into task manager but i trusted this upgrade screwed everything back in booted into windows and boom 16 gigs of ram now let's go ahead and rerun forza All right, gamers, so as you can tell, the Forza benchmark basically gave no increase when adding the extra stick of RAM. It's probably because in some rare use cases, we're more bottlenecked by something like the CPU or GPU than we are actually RAM. So I want to dive into Fortnite because I had a feeling Fortnite would show a different result. And we're gonna go back to Tilted Tower, same location we were before. And already, before we even dropped, the averages are much higher right now. We're into the 150s and 160 range. When we were in Tilted, we were getting 100 FPS, but we were dipping well below 
cool low into the 70s and 90s every so often just due to lag from the single channel memory. I'm not 100% sure. Well, actually, now I can tell. We're using about 9 gigs of RAM right now, so we're definitely exceeding the 16 gigs we had before, but the same thing happened in Forza. It didn't really translate to more performance. So we'll go ahead and land here and see. It makes a big difference. If anything, it does feel a lot smoother than it did on the first drop, so we have that going for us at least. I'm not sure if I'm built for this fast drop. Let's find out. But yeah, look at those FPS numbers, 140. Um, we'll try to have McAllister on screen show some of the extra numbers that we had right here, but we were dipping a lot more. Um, it had a lot more stutters overall. Um, we are still on the same performance settings, but it's really cool to see that just adding the extra RAM made this a truly capable high refresh rate gaming laptop. And really you're only spending, I believe like 30 or 40 bucks in total. So it's most certainly worth it. Nice try, buddy. Oh, well, at least I got Spider-Man out of here. Overall, definitely happy with the upgrade, and I think for the money, this is not a bad system. You could definitely find some uh, hidden gem sales with like a 3050 Ti or 3060 around this price point, but those are not regular deals. If we're talking about something that's prime shipped and ready to go, this is probably one of your best options right now. Yeah, that's the review of Amazon's most popular gaming laptop. Of course, it's an Acer Nitro. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up real quick. All right guys, we just got done benchmarking this Acer laptop and it worked out pretty good. I mean, it worked like we thought it would because we've done quite a few of these. You know, you do have some limitations because this 3050 laptop, it kind of reminds me of like the really popular 1650 super configuration that you used to always be able to get with like the 9th, 10th, and 11th gen laptops. So seeing kind of similar performance to that here and there, but definitely a big step up in terms of thermals and in terms of it just being quiet and running really well. In terms of it being the best selling laptop on Amazon, I mean, I'm not surprised. It's a very simple laptop, looks very gamery, and I do like how easy it is to upgrade. Remove those screws, you don't have to do any prying or anything, you just pop off that back panel, install RAM, add an extra drive if you want to for more storage. It's really an all-around awesome device. And if you want to look at this one yourself over on Amazon, use the link down below. We'll be in the link. It will help us out. Let us know if there's any other most popular products you want to see from Amazon, Newegg, eBay, or whatever retailer you normally shop from. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So this laptop right here will actually be for sale at PCBros.Tech, and of course it's upgraded now, it's been benchmarked, we know everything's good to go on it, so you'll get a little bit of a discount on it with a nice free upgrade. PCBros.Tech is where we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more, and if you use our special discount code toastybros 2 on checkout, you can save 2%, and stay tuned guys, we got some big sales coming up over at PCBros, PCBros.Tech, see you guys later, goodbye. Peace out.